What is up you guys? Welcome back to Motorhead YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be painting the Lincoln Continental. I went ahead and sanded it off camera because I really didn't want to bore you guys with all that sanding. I do see some spots I need to touch up with the scuff pad though. Now that I'm looking at it, the doors for the most part are good, but they are all wet. And one thing when you're painting is you want to always make sure you get all the moisture off because it can get up in these cracks and sometimes it won't even come out until you're spraying the clear and then it'll shoot out a stream and ruin your paint job so big thing to do before you do anything is to go ahead and get all this water off and as you can see guys we are going to be painting these two doors the hood and the door on that side and then also the trunk lid and the bumper i'm going to set the bumper up on the stand there as you guys know in the last episode we did go ahead and paint this fender this door and this quarter so if you guys haven't seen that yet be sure to go check out the previous video but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started first thing i'm gonna do is air blow all this moisture off then i'll get it taped up and hit any spots that i missed unfortunately it's not really the best thing to do in the booth but it's too late i just noticed that so we're gonna do that last so i'm gonna go ahead and get all this water off and start taping everything up Alright, so I got it all taped up and when you're taping, especially if you're using plastic, you want to make sure that you get it real nice and tight all through here because even the tiniest crack will throw overspray on your windows. But now we are ready to go ahead and start cleaning it. I'm going to start with this hood and move my way back. We use this waxing grease remover right here. This stuff works wonders and it really cleans it up real nicely. And then after we're done with that, we go ahead and use a final clean. You don't actually have to buy final clean. We use glass cleaner and it works amazing. And that'll get like all the top stuff off. I've honestly had situations where wax and grease remover would not remove something and then I final clean it and it actually lifts up the grease. So it's always best to final clean. I've noticed once we start final cleaning, we've had way less issues with contamination and we just use some glass cleaner and it works beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up and get it ready. And then we'll throw down some black sealer and then we'll throw down some paint and some clear and see how it turns out.
Okay guys, so we got sewer laid down. We're currently waiting for it to dry. As you can see, there are some spots that are still drying up, but it laid down nice and uniform. You don't have to lay down sewer. I just think it's always best to lay down sewer because it's kind of like a primer. You don't have to sand that you lay down before the paint and it helps cover any imperfections or scratches that you might've missed. So I definitely wanted to lay it down. That way when the paint goes down, as you can see guys, I mean, it's just nice and smooth everywhere you look just like you want it and sealer is definitely something that really helps i also put it on the bumper you don't have to use bulldog if the bumper is primed you can just throw sealer down and sealer has a binding formula and it does help with flexing so the bumper will not chip so you can use sealer instead of bulldog unless it is a raw bumper then you would be using this right here which is adhesion promoter but pretty much all bumpers come with the primer so you can just seal it so we're going to wait for all this to dry because i do want to tack it before i throw it on the base coat and also you do want your sealer to be 100 percent dry before you lay any base on it that way there's no reaction underneath so once this dries up we're going to go ahead and throw down the base and get it ready for paint and then once we get all the base laid down we can go ahead and throw some clear coat on this and that's pretty much all we have to paint besides the front bumper that's all that left but we won't worry about that for now once we get all this painted we're just going to go ahead and reassemble this rear end that door and put this door back together and see this thing all back together i will probably cut and buff it because i do want it to be very nice and perfect so we're going to go ahead and wait for this to dry and i'll see you guys when it's ready guys so we got the base coat laid down everywhere i already went ahead and tacked it so now we're going to go ahead and throw some clear coat over this and see how it looks i'm really excited the base coat looks like it laid down real nice and smooth so i'm really excited to see how this clear is going to lay down so we're going to go ahead and start throwing down this clear i'm using some clear pro it's very good stuff and it doesn't have as much solvent so you can do really slick jobs so we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to go ahead and see how it looks Okay guys, so we got the Lincoln painted. Man, I'm so happy. Everything turned out very nice. Little to no trash in it, just a couple little specks and little to no peel. Gonna be super easy to buff out, guys. Check out this lid, it just turned out beautiful. 
I'm very happy with all these results. And there was a little bit of a issue over there on the original paint and it's gone, so it's perfect. And check out these doors, guys. They just look absolutely beautiful. You can't even see that dent that was in this door. I mean, they just look beautiful. That little spot I repaired, everything just turned out nice. Looks like I made a little bit of a sag right there. So that'll get buffed out. But guys, I'm really happy with how everything turned out and how smooth it is because this is really the easiest paint job to buff because you really don't have to block anything out besides the trash and just smooth it up. The hood isn't perfect. There is a little bit of peel in it, but overall, very minimal pieces of trash and that's my favorite part about it. As far as the orange peel, we will buff it out. A little tiny dry spot right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, it just turned out phenomenal. I'm super happy with it. This bumper, I'm not even gonna buff. I mean, look at this thing. It is just slick and, and I see no trash. Oh, a couple little pieces right there. So I'll denib this bumper, but it does not need a buff at all. I'm just gonna slap this thing together. I still have the original bumper and I didn't take it apart on purpose. That way nothing gets lost. And it's just a matter of assembling this. Once it cures, I do wanna give it a couple days before I mess with anything. But man, I am really happy with these results. I mean, I really couldn't have asked for a better paint job, honestly. So what I got is perfect for me and there was a couple of spots that he did not like because there was previous body work and it was deep scratches and it was up in this area right here and there is just nothing that sealer hides everything especially since i 320 it and everything and then there also was a spot right here which is yeah also gone all that's in its place is a piece of trash so we'll sand that out and then there was also a bad spot here but it's gone and there's no scratches I know he's gonna be super excited when he sees this thing, but man, that is it, guys. I'm happy I got these results in this weather. I mean, you look out there, it is burning up and I'm sweating. I actually even sweated on the hood and had to go through a whole process of fixing it because I dropped it onto the base and it was fresh. So I had to wait for it to dry and scuff that up a little. So honestly, with these results, I'm super happy. I mean, I literally could not ask for a better paint job, honestly. I mean, I could, but I would need a $100,000 boot that emits little to no trash. But honestly, even factory paint jobs have trash and those cars have to be buffed out. So, I mean, you're gonna have trash. That's just the name of the game, but yeah. Other than that, I'm really happy with the results and I think that's gonna be it. Hopefully here in about two hours, I can take it out because I also wanna paint my S2000 hardtop today. So we're gonna let this cure up a little bit and once it's cured and tacked, We'll untape it and then I'll go put it outside or not outside. I'll go put it in the shop and get that hard top in here and get it slipped in just like this same color. So I'll see you then. All right. So here we have the hard top. This is a forbidden USA hard top. It's the Mugen style and I didn't like how it looked up top. So I did some body work on it and we're going to repaint it. So I need to go ahead and clean this thing, tape off these seals. And like on the car, we're gonna throw sealer over this just to make the body work, just in case we miss anything. We'll throw sealer over that. And once that dries, we'll throw paint over everything and clear it, and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so here we have the sealer and I just did one light coat. We're gonna let this completely dry. As you can see right here, it's already starting to dry. So once it's all completely dry, we'll throw down one heavy coat and that's it. The sealer is just to hide imperfections or scratches, anything you might've missed. It honestly just fills in your body work, which you want your body work to look as good as possible, but sometimes you might miss something and the sealer is there to help you. So we're gonna throw one more coat of this, nice and heavy, and then we'll go ahead and throw down that base. And once we get that base in, we'll go ahead and clear this whole thing. All right, 
right guys, so we got a nice smooth layer of base on here and we're about to throw queer. When you're throwing queer, you kind of just want to go 50-50 overlap and you don't want to lay it too wet, but also you don't want to lay it too dry. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some clear on this here in a second. That middle does still need to dry a bit, but really you want it to be about this. That way you can tack it. So we're going to let it completely dry up and then I'm about to throw down some clear and we're going to see how it looks. Look at that. That's why you call no waste right there. It looks good though. All right, I'm happy with these results. This looks beautiful. Now we just take this little piece of tape off. Check that out, boom. Like it was never even painted. So now she's ready and she looks absolutely amazing. This right here is just the best upgrade you can do for an S2000. It just completely transforms the look. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to paint. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and comment down below what you thought. Also, guys, I am going to start painting some of the E30, so stay tuned for that video. It's going to be awesome. I'm probably going to drop it Sunday, so just wait till you see the color I picked. I know you guys are going to like it, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.